Hi, this is Mitch King with the Monday evening, December 1st, Daily Stock Report with Trade Stocks America. We're looking at the Dow Jones 30 Industrial Average. We had a big drop today of 7.8% or 687 points on the Dow, the fourth largest point drop in history. Market fell quite a bit more. It was pretty much setting up to be about a 300 point drop. And then a lady from Oppenheimer, an analyst on the financial stocks, uh, stated that there's quite a bit more write downs that the banks should have, especially Wells Fargo. And the market took dropped another 380 points after she spoke about just before noon on Pacific time. It's likely that we have a follow through on the downside tomorrow, even if the market opens up a little bit, 100, maybe even. 200 points, I would think that we should be seeing some selling sometime tomorrow and possibly into the next day if the market really starts to panic. Let's take a look at the S&P 500 and here we've got a clear decisive drop. Um, we might see about 750 to 775 tomorrow. You know, I don't think we have to go all the way down to this point right here, you know, before we see a any type of rebound but uh, you know again uh, just keep saying the market's really nervous I think the market's trying to adjust to the future economic recession however deep that may be there's still a tremendous amount of fear so I really wasn't convinced that we were going to see uh, c continued moving up here so it was a matter of days or time that we were going to see some more selling and in a similar fashion that we've seen here if we this was the look at the October, late October to November 4th run. So if we see this run here, and I think that's kind of what we've got here. It's hard to tell if we'll hit a new low or or even get close to this one. I think we'll, if you've got any shorts open, I obviously that uh, tomorrow's going to be probably a profitable day for the short sellers. And I would look to be shorting the market on an intraday scalps and focus on that more than going long. But if the market drops another five or six hundred points like it did today, it's very likely that that might be drop in two days. We'd have a nice intraday rebound on the long side. I don't, I don't foresee that we'd have a six or seven hundred point day down again. But you never know. So just trade what you see. And I would be looking for both long and short intraday scalps, and preferably on the short side. Let's take a look at some intraday charts and see how how you would look for an intraday short trade. You know, this is Apple computer on a three minute chart here. And you can know this is a three minute chart. Not really. It's really a lot of herky jerky. Didn't have a real clear sign there. The formal sign could have been when it uh, crossed over into the red line. But it had happened several times. And let's take a look at the profit potential there only about a dollar here's a 15 minute chart right there where you can see there's a this is a five day period let's take a look at a shorter time period there we go on a 15 minute chart you're going to see these lines smoothing out so there's a real clear sell signal there and that's what I do throughout the day I'm constantly switching my charts to see different looks and different views at it so here's a 15 minute three day chart you can switch it to uh, a one day and see here's a 15 minute bar chart over one day and then there's the sell signal there and then you switch to a one minute chart really ready to make that transaction to really fine tune it so you're taking a look different viewpoints of that now today really isn't a great day to see shorts and long entries the market pretty much just went straight down if you take a look at a financial for example like Goldman Sachs you know, here's a one minute chart, or let's take a look at a three minute today, and that's just pretty much straight down. Not a lot of entry points. What I try to do is look at a daily chart really closely and try to get an overview of what that looks like here. So we had one, two, three, four, five up days, and then we had a pretty big down day today. We've got more downside on these. Almost all the charts are, are looking like this. Let's just scan right through real quick. Here's, here's Wells Fargo. A little more downside on this one. Most of that's out of there anyhow. Uh, Bank of America's got some more downside. JP Morgan. 
that one has more potential than the other financials. Uh, Citibank also has some pretty decent potential on the short side. Let's take a look at some ag chemicals. Most of that's out of there. Hard to tell how far that's going to go down, but again, the trend is still down, strongly down, and we had a rebound up uh, in those four or five days or six days, and seeing that this correct down, that's resuming that downtrend pattern that we've had for months and months, and these ag chemical stocks are, are clearly, have been following that pattern for five or six months. Here's a coal stock, Foundation Coal. Let's take a look see what kind of entry points you could have possibly seen. I really don't see much of an entry point here. It's just a straight selling throughout the whole day. Tomorrow, what I my plan is to look for stocks to continue to drop and see if we have any possible long scalps and then possibly in a short entry after that. If we open up a little bit on the upside tomorrow and head up, that will be a real good opportunity to open a short position, and that would be the ideal scenario tomorrow. I look at last night's list and see what different stock ideas to trade. Virtually most of the stocks that I looked at on my watch list of the 120 that I follow on the watch list have got some more potential on the downside, or at least most of them have. So intraday trading still rules, and it still dominates and in turn the best trading technique to use for profits. I wouldn't hold over any stocks overnight personally until this market stabilizes for at least a month and then looking for intermediate trades to hold on for a period of weeks and weeks. Right now, I would not recommend holding for more than a few days on these swing trades. So I think the market's going to head down. We're going to possibly see another entry point to buy long again, but that will take several days at least to uh, develop into that situation for a high probability entry point to go long on a swing trade or longer. You guys take care and we'll talk to you tomorrow.